Hey, it's me, Nick, the fat guy in a canoe um, with Outdoor Adventure Club. Today, or this trip's going to be focusing on a solo canoe trip uh, in Lake Superior Provincial Park on Lake Min Minjim and Gungchen, uh Lake. Uh, they call it Lake Minjing uh, for short. And then I'm going to be portaging into Old Woman Lake. Um, tonight I'm going to stay on this lake, Minjin. You can see it. There's all my gear, ready to go, canoe, old town, that's a discovery, uh, almost 12 foot canoe, uh, it's a solo canoe uh, that I use, I got my port joke over there, there's my vehicle, and I'll show you what the lake looks like um, that I'm standing at tonight. This trip's mostly going to focus on brook trout and lake trout, um, there is one lake, um, Black Lake, that does have walleye and pike on it, but uh, this trip is going to be mostly a trout trip that is here. So I am here right now and I'm gonna be traveling all the way down here into here and I'm gonna be staying up here in the east arm. Uh, tonight is where I'll be staying and then tomorrow I'll be going through these wetlands here and then I'll be going down to the uh, to the portage is where I'll be going uh, tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully the fishing's good. Uh, weather should be pretty nice. I know there's calling for two days of light rain uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, but I should be an old woman lake by then. So we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right. So uh, it was uh, pretty windy. Um, so I found the uh, camp I want to stay at for the night. Um, thank goodness the wind was at my back. So that makes it really nice. So um, you can see out there really windy. I have to go that way tomorrow um, to get to the portage. I'm about a mile, a mile and a half away from the portage, um, which makes it nice to get into Old Woman. So I'll show you the camp uh, that I have. It's pretty nice for the night. They give you a fire pit, picnic table, and then the thunder box is back there. Really nice campsite. I'm going to set up my uh, hammock uh, right here is where I'll set up my hammock. So we'll see how it goes here, uh, but really nice place to stay. Uh, thank goodness the wind was at my back. So um, it is the first week of June. Uh, some of you guys are probably wondering, when is he up there? It's the first week of June um, is when I'm up here. It's not that buggy. Uh, yet, um, it probably will get buggy though um, if it warms up a little bit. You can see uh, how windy it is. So, I came from all the way up there. Uh, but this is what I had to go through. Like I said, thank goodness the wind was at my back. Yeah, it said this this lake's known for uh, for getting high winds on it, um, and this particular wind uh, coming out of the northwest is uh, makes this lake pretty uh, pretty rough. So it's about uh, four thirty. Um, I got camp all set up. You can see um, using the hammock system, uh, really comfortable. Uh, I got my under quilt uh, there for it. So it's really nice. I've got to lay in it for a while. Just put my gear up underneath there. Um, for dinner, I had pad thai, uh, the backcountry pantry uh, pad thai. It's really. Hey, it is day two. It is Tuesday. I mean, sorry, Monday, not Tuesday. It is Monday. Um, uh, last night I had a really good sleep. A hammock worked out really, really, really well. Um, I wouldn't go back to a tent. Um, I just think it's a, oh, an easy way to camp, easy way to put things away uh, as well. Um, today is that dreaded day. It is portage day. Um, portage day is um, going to be a rough day for me. Um, I have a 1,200 meter portage, a 300 meter portage, and then a 100 meter portage um, is what I'm going to do uh, today. So uh, a little bit windy, but wind's going in my direction, um, so that should be good. Um, where I'm going to go today is 
I am right here. I'm going to travel down into the uh, Miracoy uh, wetlands in a Mir Mir Miracoy lake. And then I am going to portage um, down into, this is the 1200 meter portage, into Ghost Lake. And then from Ghost Lake, I'm going to go into Pecure Lake. And then from Pecure Lake, it is a 130 meter portage into Old Woman Lake. And I'm probably going to camp uh, around Burnt Island. Um, is where I'm going to stay. If you couldn't see the map, uh, just Google it, um, Lake Superior Provincial Park, um, and you'll see the lakes that I'm uh, portaging into. Um, if you are going to do this trip, um, they do sell maps um, for you. They are at the visitor center, um, so make sure you get a map. Um, that's always key uh, to do. So I will keep you posted, let you know what's going on. Hopefully, um, at some point today, I catch a brook trout um, or a lake trout. Um, I went out for a little bit last night, but I had no luck. So hopefully today goes good. Um, I've been working out and things like that for this portage. So um, hopefully that pays off and this is an easy, an easy portage for me. So this is the uh, start of the Miraquai wetlands. Probably pronounced it wrong, but this is what it looks like coming back in here. Pretty cool. I missed the uh, the entrance to this thing, so uh, had to backtrack a little bit. It's pretty windy today. So at the uh, bottom of the wetlands, um, it just get really shallow. Um, I think I got down to like six six inches um, in one place, so I can see why um, people say don't do this um, later than uh, the end of June. Um, but like I said, it's the beginning of June, so um, it's pretty good. Uh, it takes about an hour to get through here. And then at the bottom of it, there's a beaver lodge. That you have to kind of portage over. Miracoy, or Mir I'm saying it wrong, Miracoy uh, Lake here. This lake has brook trout in it. I'm going to fish it a little bit. I've been fishing as I take little breaks here and there, but uh, no luck yet for brook trout or anything. So, But this is what this lake looks like. I'll be portaging uh, down that way. It's a nice day. Um, the only people that I've seen is uh, right when I put in. Um, at Minjin Lake, um, some people were coming in um, and leaving, um, um, going home, um, and then uh, I was departing. So um, there were three vehicles um, at the take-in. So uh, yeah, pretty. If you're looking for solitude, this is pretty solitude uh, here. This is that, this is that uh, Miracoy Lake, really pretty lake. So I'm impressed, but lots of little islands, but a beautiful, beautiful lake. So I made it to the portage. Um, this portage is going to take me into Ghost Lake. Uh, it should be about a 1,200 meter uh, portage. Uh, I'm going to do a double carry. Um, I told my wife I would do a double carry rather than a single carry. Um, just because I'm solo and uh, uh, this is my first time really doing like a significant portage. So I don't want to get hurt or anything like that. Um, especially since I haven't seen anybody. Um, make a lot of noise. Um, just being bear wise. Um, not afraid of bears. Um, just respect them. And uh, I have a little radio uh, that I'll just play music with. And uh, I'm going to do my packs first. And then I'll come back for the canoe on the second carry um, is what I plan on doing. So. All right. Made it on the first portage. I got another one. Another carry to do. Um. It goes up and down, um, so let me take a little break before I 
go back again just saw one grouse some moose tracks no bears this is ghost lake it's more like a pond it's not that big um, but I'll port to, I'll row across this and there's another portage down there that I'll have to do uh, for 300 meters so this is the worst part of the trip um, relatively dry um, there is some little creeks that you have to pass but it's uh, it's not too bad there's one little steep hill but they have it uh, they have it pretty well like um, with logs um, as stopping points so you don't like fall down the hills and things like that so the park system did a great job of making sure the trail is clear I'm gonna go get the canoe all right I made it it's all my gear did it in two carries kind of tired that wears you out. I gotta get some water. Um, I gotta go across uh, Ghost Lake. Um, it's about a 350 uh, meter portage. Um, and then I got another 150, then I'll be into Old Woman. So, pretty wore out. All right, made it to uh, Picker Lake. It's a really clear lake, it's a pretty lake. Um, I have one more portage to go. I'm really tired. Um, black flies are starting to come out, so it's the first sighting of them. But I uh, just got a little portage left, and then uh, hopefully I'll set up camp for the night. It's like five o'clock, so I gotta get on the move. All right, it is 6:53. Uh, made it to Old Woman uh, Lake. Here it is. It's a big lake. Um, paddled about two miles uh, from that 100 meter portage, and uh, I'm staying on Burnt Island. So this will be the camp I'm going to stay at for the next few days. <clears throat> it's got a pretty cool fire pit. And then the restrooms are up there. I'm gonna set my hammock up over here. So I'm pretty tired. Um, once I get my hammock set up and uh, my camp set up, I'll tell you what's going on. Hopefully I gotta get some lake trout tomorrow. I'm gonna eat another um, back, uh, backpacker's pantry uh, meal tonight. All right, I got uh, camp set up. Wind died down. It's supposed to be really cold tonight. It's like nine o'clock. So there's my hammock all set up, ready to go. I got the under quilt keeping me nice and warm. And then uh, I hung my bear bag back there you can see in the tree so I am exhausted so I had my uh, that, that meal was good it was the chili mac um, so that's a good one to have I gotta catch fish because I only have uh, one more meal left so hopefully I can get a lake trout or brook trout or um, that's what's in this lake so hopefully tomorrow goes really good um, I know there's a storm that's supposed to be coming in so we'll see what happens It is Tuesday, day three. Um, camp's all set up. I'm good to go. Slept pretty well last night. Um, rain came in, so kind of changed the weather a little bit. It's real misty right now. Um, had to cut some firewood. Uh, probably have a fire tonight. Um, but uh, yeah, everything went uh, went well. A little store still. Uh, I'm going to kind of take it easy today. I'm going to troll around the island, um, Burnt Island, and see what I can do for... Uh, for lake trout hopefully i'll be able to get a lake trout and uh be able to eat them but all in all it was a uh it was a good it was a good night so but i'm gonna go that way and i'm gonna go around burnt island and then uh troll around it 
Um, it's pretty deep, so um, we'll see what happens. So just like I said, as, as soon as I came around that point that I pointed to, um, it nailed it. So that didn't take long. First lake trout on Old Woman Lake. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be uh, dinner tonight. So yeah, I was all worried that maybe I won't catch any fish here um, or anything like that because uh, my first trip for lake trout uh, in a canoe and uh, yeah, pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep going. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, let me show you where I'm going across here. But I just went around a point back there. I'm fishing this big rock face right here. Um, it changes uh, depth really quickly, so um, I think it goes like down to like 100 foot here, so pretty cool. So I just stopped pull over on, the, on an island. Um, this is a, a old uh, Chrysler used to own a cabin on here. And then uh, they ended their lease, uh, the provincial park did. Um, they turned it into a ranger cabin. It's pretty run down. Uh, you can see this is the outhouse here. It's even got the little old school half moon thing. Really cool. See what this looks like in here. Oh yeah, it's an outhouse. So pretty cool. So some old ladders there. Windows look really old too. It's probably really nice in its day. Pretty good size. How uh, you can see all the logs rotted away on this side. I'm gonna go in and take a look. So this is the inside of the cabin. It's really run down. Looks like the bugs have gotten to the logs. Some type of termites or things like that. We got a really nice fireplace. The moose skull there. Looks like the kitchen back here. Oh yeah, mice. It's an old, I don't know if this was like a stove or something they would use back in the day. Old pots, old cups, chains. You can tell the floor is not exactly the most stable thing in the world. We got cutting boards. Playing cards. There's a log book. Everybody that stayed here. I'll have to sign it. It's a lake down there. And up there must be like the sleeping quarters. See what that looks like. Hopefully, I don't fall through the steps. Uh, 
I was thinking about staying here on Friday. I get all my gear packed up. Uh, that way, my Saturday is a lot easier. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Creepy stuff. Tarps. Blankets. The floor is not stable up here, so I'm not even going to go up there. Yeah, that would have been like the old... Probably where they slept back in the day. Pretty crazy. So yeah, there's the uh, ranger cabin on. Old Woman Lake. Crazy. All right. All right, so uh, this is the first brook trout uh, I got. Uh, I just cast in a little Cleo. Uh, just kind of like was going for a lake trout and then I stopped for a second. I was like, I oh, you know what? I'm just gonna start casting a little bit and picked up a brook trout. Um, this will be what I'm gonna eat, uh, him and the lake trout tonight. So but you can see the, uh, the awesome colors they got. They got really pretty. Uh, colors on them, the red spots. I think this is one of the coolest fish. Is a, a brook trout. They call them a speckled trout in Canada, but a brook trout back home. So, really, really, really pretty fish. So, really exciting. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So, I uh, finished the fillets. I chunked them up. Um, you can see the brook trout are in uh, that pink uh, color, and then the lake trout are uh, the lighter color. Uh, how I'm going to cook them today? I'm just going to do the uh, the standard fish fry. Um, I got some lard. So this is a standard um, lard that you get. So, and I just, that's what I'm gonna use is my oil is the lard. It's easier to carry um, than oil. And then I got a little seasoning. So I'm just gonna roll them in seasoning um, and then put them on the, uh, on the fire over there. And I'll show you what they turn out like when they're done. And then here is the finished product. It came out really good. It tastes really good too. Catch and cook, brook trout, lake trout, old woman lake. Awesome.